Willows in the Wind is amazing, and I had a feeling it would be because the previous CSI episode was incredible. This is the 12th episode of the 12th season, and normally I don't give spoilers when I discuss CSI, or if I do, I wait until the end. But I think with this one, just because of the things that I have to say, there will be the risk of spoilers throughout. So I'm just going to say I'm going to have spoilers in this discussion from now. And it will, of course, spoil the previous episode because this one kind of picks up where that one left off. Some time has passed. And actually, the narrative structure in this is really interesting and really well done. And it just goes to show that you can tell a complex story without needing to go on and on forever. I'm thinking of certain films that last forever. And when we have examples like this, where there's a lot of action, but the pacing and the structure are incredible. For example, we are following Catherine and Russell, and we get to a certain point. And as I said, spoilers from now, we find out that they're in this motel, they're patching up Catherine's wound, and then cut to a different part of the, the episode. And then the next thing we know, they've had to flee. They're gone. They had to leave the motel. We don't see it. We don't need to see it because there's enough information there for other people to work out what must have happened, and we find that out. So they didn't feel the need to include every tiny thread of action, yet we never lost anything. And I think that that's brilliant. That is so well done. And by doing that, we get more of the story, because they're able to fit more in without showing absolutely everything. And I was really impressed with that. Very, very effective. Very well done. And I was relieved to find out that Catherine was alive because I genuinely didn't know. I honestly had no idea what was going to happen to her character, but I'm pleased that things worked out the way it did for her. I will talk more about her character uh, in a little bit. With regards to who was responsible, I did not see it coming, and this is a tremendous spoiler. I'd be, I'd be very impressed if anybody else had worked this out. I'd say it's not impossible to work it out, but I certainly didn't. I am, of course talking about the fact that it was Laura who was responsible for everything. And once it was revealed, it made perfect sense. For example, the fact that she was under the floorboards. The fact, and this is something that I thought about after discussing the episode, when she was under the floorboards in the previous episode, she didn't knock on the floor, yet she would have heard the voices of Catherine and the other people coming into that house. She would have identified that it was their voices, yet she did nothing to let them know of her presence. And that was suspicious. And I didn't think of that until later on yesterday, once I was reflecting on that episode a bit later. And once it was revealed that she was responsible, I was kind of connecting those dots and thinking, yeah, actually, this all makes sense. The clues are there. So it's not impossible to come to that conclusion before the reveal but I certainly didn't. But it's a very well-crafted narrative. Very, very well done. And I, I thought they did a, a great job with it. We had some great characters. In particular, I loved Miss Kitty. She played by Tanji Ambrose. Wonderful character. Really thoroughly enjoyed her. I wish she was in it a bit more than she was, but she didn't need to be. And obviously, we have the the ending. And the ending hit me. So I can't even imagine how it would feel watching the ending of this episode after 12 seasons. I'm only 12 episodes in, but if I'd been watching this for 12 seasons and if I'd followed Catherine Willows' journey for that long and then we have to watch her speech as she resigns, it was tough. I found it to be really emotional and it was easy to, to absorb the emotions of everybody in that room as well and it, it was beautifully done, but... Yeah, I can imagine that would have been brutal if you'd followed the character for 12 seasons or, you know, 11 and a half seasons or whatever. And it was it was not what I was expecting. Once I realized she wasn't dead, I mean, to be honest, part of me did keep thinking, okay, she survived this bullet, but maybe there'll be another hit. Maybe something else will happen and she'll die. And if that had happened, I wouldn't have been surprised. But the way she resigned was was very powerful. And also, the resignation email. Genuinely thought it was from her, the, from the previous episode. I completely thought it was from her. Not for one second did I doubt it. I just assumed she'd sent it from her phone or something, or she'd 
I don't know, gone back to the office in the interim. I doubt it. But if she'd maybe sent it from her phone, would she have had access to her work emails from her phone if she's with the CSI? I don't know. Either way, I didn't ever entertain the idea that it wasn't genuine with the previous episode. So, so many surprises here. Wonderful storytelling. Very, very impressive. Emotional, fascinating, completely unpredictable. A little bit gory and gruesome at times. One of my favourite bits is when they're cutting the leg open of one of the burnt victims. It's wonderful. Really well done. So, it's brilliant. Willows in the Wind is fabulous. Bittersweet. And that's 12 episodes of Catherine Willows. And I'm, I'm going to miss her. I don't know if she's in it again. I don't know if she comes back, if she makes appearances. I mean, for all I know, she could change her mind. She could go to the new job and then decide, actually, I want to come back. I don't predict that, but we'll see. I'm learning pretty quickly that my predictions with CSI are pointless because they're never correct, and I, I, I like that. I love the element of surprise, and this is exactly what we get with Willows in the Wind. Exceptionally well-written, brilliant performances. Definitely one of the strongest episodes from season 12 so far.